field. Oh, it's coming up off that lake. There you go. Okay, I'll work this side. That didn't take too long, huh? Whoa. Well, these fish are healthy. They can fight like nobody's business. Whoa, there you go. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There you go. Took my big old orange bellied popper fly. Sorry guys, I'll be back. I don't know. <laughs> that is Phoebe Sanders. I'll put the link in this video. She is such a sweetheart. A young lady that plays the banjo and fretless banjo and just all kinds of stuff. And man, she is something special. Uh, <laughs> you gotta look her up. All right. Let's build a dragonfly the new way. As you know, I've had a lot of trouble. Let me turn this up a little so we can hear it. There we go. Oh, I love banjo music. This, that young lady, Phoebe, she is something else. I don't know what it is about her, but man, she just captivates me. Hope she doesn't mind me using her music. I'm gonna point y'all to her, man. She is special. All right, first thing I gotta do, like I said, this is a new way to tie a fly. Believe it or not. I'm sure somebody else has done it this way, but this is my way. I got some 25 pound test mono. I'm gonna cut a little piece of it. And I'm gonna strap it to the hook. Out. I'm gonna do this fly backward. The head of the fly is gonna be here. Tail's gonna be coming out the back. That's what I need this string for. And I think I've got a solution for helicoptering dragonflies. Don't put freaking wings on them. <laughs> These dragonflies are big. All right, let's get that strapped on there. See if I can do this fly before the music ends. Ah, and this life is no more. Ah, fly away. Oh man, she is something else. She is truly talented. She plays by ear. All right, that's the first part. Let's get this thing strapped on here real good. Boop. Then we're gonna take a piece of foam and you can do whatever color you want. I happen to like the gray and the dragonfly because I can turn it black. I'm gonna get me a nice thin strip. The last video I was using a needle to get this done but I figured out another way and I'm gonna I'm gonna make the head section and the tail section in separate pieces I'm gonna cut a little slit right in the middle of that foam get the things off my finger through there. Ain't that hard. Oh, dang it. Oh, good night. Anyway, the idea is to get it through there like this. See? I'll run it through that and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to back it up a little bit and then I'm going to strap that piece to the bottom. I'm going to go all the way to the front of the fly right about where the body's gonna start. 
see. All right. I'm going to strap this on the bottom. Then we're going to strap the top to this one. Fewer steps. That's what I like. Fewer steps. Now, we're going to make a segmented body in one shot. Crawl it down. See what's happening here? Might be a short tail dragonfly. I did a hopper this way. And that's what kind of made me think that, well, I'm going to bury that hook. Maybe this will work for a dragonfly. Like I said, he's going to be a short tail dragonfly. Alright, there you go. I'll leave that tail like this. And that gets it secured really nice. Thanks, Phoebe. Alrighty, well, hopefully that helped out some of you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I have for you today. That was a mashup of... Uh, oh, she is so sweet. <laughs> I'll put the I'll link in the description down below. The mashup of, oh, if I can remember, Red Rocking Chair, I'll Fly Away, Charm and Betsy, and Salt Spring, I believe. Those are just all the, two, all the, uh, all the tunes in G-tuning that came to mind. But, get back to it. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Drink some water. I'll see you all next time for your next daily dose of banjo. Um, goodbye. <laughs> She's so sweet. I'm sadly lacking in wildflowers, but I'm going to play a mashup of Wildflower Wildflowers by Tom Petty and Wildflowers by Dolly Parton. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs> I wish there were some wildflowers behind me, but <laughs> I couldn't really find any. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Alright, let's get back time drawing. Alright, next step. I think I can actually just build a head on it. Like that. That's probably good enough. Now, what I do want to do is put Oh, let me quiet her down just a little. There, now it's more in the background. Just for me to listen to. Alright, so we have a very simple fly. It's just one piece of foam wrapped around and then doubled up in the front. You could turn this into a lano bug, a hopper, you could turn it into anything at this point. I'm going to do a dragonfly. So I think what I'm going to do is put another piece of foam on here just to give it more mass right here. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do that second. Let's get a hackle feather like this one and give this thing some legs. A couple of rounds, a few legs. Just like that. And then what we want to do is take my little second piece of foam. I think I want to take it forward first. Yeah, that's how you do that. And then we give this thing a big bulky middle. Go ahead and cut this off. Now, see what you've got? You've got a fly that appears to have a lot of legs. Now, I think the mistake I've been making with the wings is I've been trying to make them realistic in size. And I don't think that's important. All it needs is an illusion of some wings. Uh, I'll get 
probably one of her fretless. Here, this is a good one coming up. She's fixing to play a fretless banjo. And it is a seriously cool sounding. Let me bring it back up. <laughs> She's playing with chickens. <laughs> Um, All right. And my I'm just going to put one. Start it as clean as possible, and then slowly make it get more and more. One, just a little bit like, of like wing food. type material right here in the middle. I think I just think it'll be funny. My friend suggested it, so as we go, it's going to sound more and more drunk. Um, hopefully, so let's see if we can purposely make it sound slidey without that being horrible. But let us begin normally. There we go. I didn't lock that thread in real good. So a single drop of super glue might be in order. See that? And I'm going to go ahead and cut these loops. So it just has what looks like one wing, a unicorn dragonfly. Let me get my blue marker. Cut of the back with blue, and I'm actually going to tie it onto that uh, mono right there. I think putting in extra effort on these things to make them look more and more real is counterproductive. It doesn't seem to matter to the fish. If they're chasing dragonflies, they'll hit it. If they're not chasing dragonflies, they totally ignore it. All of the fish. Well, I'm having a heck of a time. I'm having just a heck of a time fooling sunfish for whatever reason in that pond. In the ranch pond, those, I guess they just got my number. All right, let me get my black magic marker. And give it a black head or a black front. Now, honestly, this monofilament is to make this hook longer. I didn't, I didn't, if you got a cricket hook, a nice long shaft cricket hook, that'd probably be better. But I like to use whatever I got in stock. Another finished fly. A dragonfly that didn't take so dang long to do. Okay. This should keep it from helicoptering because it doesn't have a propeller shape. This thing will just go back and forth, back and forth. But when that thing lays in the water, that's going to be enough, I think, so that they think it's got wings. But it's that big, big bulky body. I probably should have gone out longer on the tail, but we'll see how this works. I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of close inspections and they turn around and leave it alone. I mean what the heck? Alright. Let me uh I'll do a test fly later, but this is just show you the pattern. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye. I'll see you all next time for your next daily dose of banjo. Um <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs>